Hello and welcome to another Driving Passion episode. Today, we take a look at the 2022 Toyota Land Cruiser, the latest iteration of the carmaker's longest running nameplate. Our focus won't be on the standard version, however. The spotlight will be on the Land Cruiser GR Sport variant. And before we go any further, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel today and don't miss another new car review. Click the bell icon and stay up to date with the latest automotive news. Thanks for subscribing. So, as far as the Land Cruiser's history is concerned, there has been an overlap between the models off-road oriented and comfort oriented models, the latter beginning in 1966 and the former ending in 1984. The 2022 Land Cruiser GR Sport aims to combine these two interpretations, with the GR standing for Gazoo Racing, Toyota's new motorsports and performance arm. This makes the full-size SUV the fourth recipient of motorsports-derived upgrades straight from the factory. The GR Sport variant is based on the Land Cruiser J300, which made its global debut in June 2021, commemorating 70 years from when the first Land Cruiser rolled off the assembly line. Both the standard Land Cruiser and the GR Sport ride on the Toyota New Global Architecture or TNGA-F platform which is also intended for use on future pickup trucks and mid-sized SUVs. The new platform makes the current Land Cruiser lighter by 200 kilos over the outgoing J200 series. According to Toyota, the Land Cruiser GR Sport was based on a product brief that demanded security and ease of use, whilst demonstrating capability even on the most challenging drives. It was developed with input from professional race drivers, who participated in the famed Dakar Rally as far back as 1995, using Land Cruisers while competing in the production car category. Externally, the Land Cruiser GR Sport features a bold and aggressive exterior design that highlights the vehicle's width. A revised fascia replaces the chrome slatted grille on the standard Land Cruiser with a black honeycomb mesh version. The Toyota text takes the place of the corporate logo, along with the GR badge. Meanwhile, the chrome bar has been retained as a common design element, flanked by LED headlamps. A revised front bumper incorporates a bigger bash plate, and this is complemented by fender claddings, step boards, side mirrors, door handles and window trims, all rendered in black to emphasise the vehicle's ruggedness. The large greenhouse all around contributes to improved visibility by reducing blind spots. Design elements for the rear echo those on the front with a tailgate redesigned to look boxier than ever. The previous chrome bar connecting the taillights has been replaced by chrome trim on the lower rear bumper. Meanwhile, the elegant alloys on the standard Land Cruiser have been traded in for black 18-inch mud grey wheels. Heading over to the interior, the Land Cruiser GR Sport uses the same cabin layout, which should be familiar to Land Cruiser J300 owners. The major difference is the use of a darker two-tone colour palette. Black and red leather upholstery are standard on the seats, with the front headrests displaying the GR badge. Soft touch surfaces, also made of red leather, also abound on the centre console, the glove box and door panels. Accommodations are luxurious and generous for up to seven occupants on three seating rows. Folding down the second and third rows frees up considerable room for cargo. Front occupants benefit from ergonomic seats that feature a wide range of adjustment as well as wireless charging, while those at the rear get four-zone climate control, seat ventilation as well as two USB ports to charge the mobile devices on the go. Up front, drivers of the GR Sport take hold of a leather-wrapped steering wheel packed with audio and communications controls. Just below the windshield lies an upgraded instrument panel, combining large, easy-to-read Optitron analog gauges with a 10-inch TFT high-definition multi-information screen. A heads-up display also projects vehicle data on the windshield within the driver's line of sight. Onboard communications and infotainment are handled by the 12.3-inch floating-type touchscreen display, which features support for both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The automatic climate control also features an air ionizer feature to purify the air for everyone on board. So let's head on to the Land Cruiser GR Sports powertrain. As Toyota's flagship off-road vehicle, the Land Cruiser was offered with a V8 engine option starting with the J100 series in 1998. However, the current GR Sport and the rest of the J300 series are going a different route. The available engines for the current Land Cruiser are a 3.5-litre gasoline and a 3.3-litre diesel, 
both in the V6 configuration with twin turbochargers. These newly developed engines might be smaller than their outgoing counterparts, but they also pack more power along with improved fuel efficiency. So, Land Cruiser fans don't have any reason to be disappointed just yet. For the V6 gasoline engine, output's rated at 409 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque. Meanwhile, the diesel V6 boasts 302 horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque. Power is transferred to all four wheels through a 10 speed direct shift automatic gearbox. Where the Land Cruiser GR Sport shines is in its off road handling with front and rear electronic differential locks that are a step up from the standard J300 Land Cruiser's rear Torsen Limited Slip Differential. Its other ace in the hole is the world's first electronic kinetic dynamic suspension system, or EKDSS, which guarantees grip even after jumping off uneven sections of the road. The EKDSS also adjusts the front and rear stabilizers in precise increments by analyzing road and wheel conditions and this improves handling when the vehicle's on rocky trails. Another off-road oriented feature is the multi-terrain select, where drivers can choose one of six preset modes to optimize the Land Cruiser GR Sports performance when away from the tarmac. Ranging from auto, dirt, sand, mud, deep snow and rock, multi-terrain select allows the vehicle to tackle changing terrain even in high-range four-wheel drive mode. A multi-terrain monitor is also present, using four cameras positioned on the front, rear and sides of the vehicle to provide a better view of road conditions. Now, don't think the GR Sport is all for playing around, however. It also places a premium on occupant protection, with a total of eight airbags that deploy in the event of an impact. The GR Sport comes standard with a Toyota Safety Sense suite of driver assist features. Dynamic radar cruise control uses a front camera, and millimeter wave radar to automatically adjust the SUV's speed and maintain a safe distance from another vehicle in front. A pre-crash safety system detects vehicles, pedestrians and cyclists, increasing brake pressure to avoid collision in case there's a high likelihood of impact. An adaptive high beam system automatically dims the light that shines on vehicles in front, which reduces glare on the part of other motorists. There's also a blind spot monitor that alerts drivers when other vehicles are within the Land Cruiser GR Sports vicinity whilst changing lanes. The 2022 Toyota Land Cruiser GR Sport follows the J300 Land Cruiser recently launched in the Middle East and will reportedly be priced at around 28,000 Q80 dinars. It also starts at 7.7 .7 million yen for the Japanese market, while prices in Australia will reportedly start at almost 138,000 Australian dollars. Based on the leading off-road machine in Toyota's lineup, the Land Cruiser GR Sport benefits from the carmaker's forays into motorsports. It brings even more features that echo the off-road capabilities of Land Cruiser's past, while still emphasizing utility, practicality and passenger comfort. Even as the automotive industry is placing increasing importance on efficiency, models like the Toyota Land Cruiser GR Sport will still have a place for those adventurers seeking to conquer new territories. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out these other videos and do of course make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video. We'll see you soon.